Aladdin Creations. Hello friend. Hi. Where are you going? I'm going to hospital to see my father. But why? He is suffering from fasciolysis. Fasciolysis? What is that? Fasciolysis is an infectious disease caused by fasciola parasites, which are flatworms referred to as liver flukes. The adult flukes are found in the bile ducts and liver of infected people and animals, such as sheep and cattle. Two fasciola species infect people. The main species is Fasciola hepatica, which is also known as the common liver fluke, and Fasciola gigantica, also can infect people. In what parts of the world is Fasciolysis found? Fasciolysis is found in more than 50 countries, especially where sheep or cattle are reared. Fasciola hepatica is found in all continents, except Antarctica. How do people get infected with Fasciola? people get infected by accidentally ingesting the parasite. The main way this happens is by eating raw watercress or other contaminated freshwater plants. People also can get infected by ingesting contaminated water, such as by drinking it or by eating vegetables that were washed or irrigated with contaminated water. Under unusual circumstances, People have gotten infected by eating undercooked sheep or goat liver that contained immature forms of the parasite. Can Fasciola be spread directly from one person to another? No. Fasciola cannot be passed directly from one person to another. The eggs passed in the stool of infected people need to develop in certain types of freshwater snails under favorable environmental conditions. What are the signs and symptoms of Fasciola infection, and when do they begin? Some infected people don't ever feel sick. Some people feel sick early on in the infection, while immature flukes are passing from the intestine, through the abdominal cavity and liver. Symptoms from the acute phase can start four to seven days after the exposure and can last several weeks or months. Some people feel sick during the chronic phase of the infection, when adult flukes are in the bile ducts. The symptoms, if any, associated with this phase can start months to years after the exposure. During both phases of the infection, clinical features can include fever, malaise, abdominal pain, eosinophilia, epidomegaly, and abnormal liver tests. What should people do if they think they might be infected with Fasciola? see their health care provider. How is Fasciola infection diagnosed? The infection typically is diagnosed by examining stool specimens under a microscope. The diagnosis is confirmed if Fasciola eggs are seen. More than one specimen may need to be examined to find the parasite. Certain types of blood tests also may be helpful for diagnosing Fasciola infection. Can Fasciolysis be treated? Yes. Fasciolysis is a treatable disease. Triclobendazole is the drug of choice. It is given by mouth, usually in one or two doses. Most people respond well to the treatment. Any vaccine available for fasciolysis? No vaccine is available to protect people against Fasciola. How can Fasciola infection be prevented? People can protect themselves by not eating raw watercress and other water plants, especially from endemic grazing areas. As always, travelers to areas with poor sanitation should avoid food and water that might be contaminated. For more videos please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.